Okay, so what I'd like to talk about is some work that we've done in chemical engineering where we're using peer assessment in um, a year four project. Now, this module uh, counts for a quarter of the final year in the fourth year, so it's quite a large module. And our students are not assigning any marks to their peers. So this is more this formative assessment in the forms of feedback rather than an actual mark. Now, what we're also trying to do here is to try to get them to behave a little bit like chemical engineers. So we want to try to get them to focus on team working, the fact that they are mutually dependent on each other, and particularly the issue around communication, being able to put across their engineering designs in a proper way. So although this is a design course, the hidden learning outcome, if you like, is for them to be able to write good proper sound technical reports. So we want them to be able to do this documentation and we are assessing this through uh, peer and self-assessment. It's building on two modules that they do in the year three course. This is one on process control and this is our large year three design project. So it's building on two existing uh, modules. We want them to the, the key objectives of the peer assessment is we want them to be able to write good reports, but also for them to be able to do this as a team. Because what we often get with design reports is that they will take their own unit, they will write their six, eight pages, however much they need, and they just put them together and they have a brief introduction and brief conclusion, and that is a group report, which is clearly not what the attention is. So we want to get them to write these so that they read as if they've been written by one person. So this whole team responsibility in terms of the, the documentation is very important. And we want them to be able to assess or evaluate the technical work of a collaborator or a fellow student. Chemical engineers never work alone. They always work in teams. They always work in, or normally in multidisciplinary teams. And they have to be able to give proper feedback to colleagues and collaborators. So this is what we're trying to develop with them. Just very briefly what they're actually doing, we have a chemical plant flow sheet that has got a number of individual unit operations here. If you've ever driven past a, a chemical plant, you'll see all the lights at night. It, they're taking one each unit of, on, on this plant. So each student will be responsible for one unit. They will then develop a control structure for that particular unit and they will then do develop a detailed mathematical model of that unit. They will run simulations of how that unit uh, will behave. We're particularly looking at this from a safety aspect. So what is it on this plant that can lead to explosions, to disasters, to release of hazardous material, etc.? Chemical industry can be quite dangerous, and we need to get this whole concept of safety across to them as strongly as possible. So they will run some simulations, um, open loop, where they will show that this plant will blow up if this happens. Then they will add on their controllers, and they will show that, well, if this was the disturbance that I had, once I have my control system, I will not have any problems with my nitrogen concentration. This is what they're doing in technical terms. What we get them to do, they're working, we started with groups of two, then it became three, and now we have, this year we have teams of six, because our students' numbers have, have gone up so much. So in the first term, we work on training them in how to use the modeling tool. We also have an exam in the classroom on how to use that particular modeling tool. The peer assessment comes in in term two, where they have this final report at the end, which is the overall technical evaluation of the safety of this plant, looking at all the individual unit operations and demonstrating that these control systems that they are proposing will be sound and will keep the plant safe. To make sure that they are heading in the right direction, we have a number of intermediate reports where they will submit work so far and that we will then give feedback to. And one of the reasons we introduced this is so that they can get feedback quickly. Now, not instantaneously, 
but within a couple of days. So we have an initial report that doesn't carry any marks because they don't quite know what they're doing. So we can give feedback on it without it being um, formally assessed. We then have uh, two reports. These will typically be the sort of 40, 50 pages per group. Uh, they carry 10% of the mark. This is 10 um, or marks from me as the lecturer. They will then take a report from another group and will read through that entire report and will give a one-page feedback to that piece of work. So they will read the entire safety assessment of that plant and they will make a critical evaluation of that report in terms of the technical issues that they have, how they've addressed those, and also to some extent in terms of the quality of the written work. And we do this, as you can see, three times. And by the last one here, they are actually very, very good at this. I'll, I'll show you some brief examples of this. We also do a presentation where they do a peer assessment, they also assess their own presentation for their own group. We have then the final report, we have an oral examination with them, and these peer assessments that we have throughout, they carry a weight of 5% at the end. So these are the, the one pages that they produce, I assess, and those four together will count 5%. But as Seb said, they don't carry their 1.25 each. They still put a lot of effort into producing those and getting it right. The ben? Group. Group. So in terms of the way it's structured in the term by week, this is roughly where the reports are coming. The peer assessment, as soon as a report has been submitted, uh, the reports will then be all be put on Moodle. We ask them every year, do you want to have access to all the reports or do you only want to see the one for the group that you're assessing? They want to see all of them, so all the reports go on Moodle. And they are not actually only looking at the one that they have to assess, they go through all of them because they are looking at similar plants and they are now checking to see how this has been addressed by all the other groups. So in terms of getting them to actually look at what other people have done. This, this has really worked. Now the feedback that they're given, we do through Moodle. So they will do their one page and then submit that through Moodle. We will pick it up from there and then feed it uh, back to them. Um, what we found mainly is that the peer feedback is equivalent to what um, we can put together in terms of quality and level of detail. Sometimes they pick up on things that we haven't actually spotted <coughs> because they are working on similar plants. So they are looking at it, I think, even more carefully than, than what we will do. They put quite a lot of effort into the preparation of this. The wording is quite considerate. It isn't always a team effort. They're supposed to do this at a, as a team. Sometimes it has been done by only one or two people. Um, these are the type of you can see that they're focusing here on technical issues. Density correlations are questionable and so on. So they are picking up a lot on the technical aspects of the, uh, the work. We put together a focus group to create a questionnaire with questions. Um, how they did this is quite interesting. We actually ended up with, with 50 questions that we put to the students. The response rate was very, very high. Uh, we asked them questions on a number of things. We asked them, uh, for instance, how well they liked Moodle. They like that very much in terms of um, re um, submitting their reports and receiving the marks. In terms of the peer assessment, we asked them whether they felt they were better able to evaluate and make improvements. Uh, so that's not at all, and 10 is absolutely very much. So they feel that they are better able to do their own work as well as that of others. And the same um, on the peer assessment, although they seem, uh, sorry, self-assessment, they seem happier with the peer assessment. We also ask them the fact that we are attributing marks to this feedback. We ask them how important is it that we assess that one pager to the effort you put in. And we know that they won't do anything unless it's being assessed, so that was clearly important. How useful is it to have these preliminary reports 
um, they clearly see that. How do you like commenting on other people's work? Well, that they're not too happy about, which I can understand. It's their friends. So some of the feedback, I've picked out one good one and a couple that we need to be working on. Since having to give peer assessment in this course, I now subconsciously construct feedback in my head that if I was being marked for my comments, this could possibly be a good thing, which is what we were trying to do. But they're also saying that some of the, confu the comments were a bit confusing and they didn't always agree with what we said, which I think is also important because people view things in different ways and they need to be able to understand that. Um, we've had in the past that the, they wanted more feedback on how to improve and we're trying to give that to them now. So just to conclude, it seems to, we've been doing this for four years now. It has made a very big difference in terms of the quality of their technical work. Uh, we want them to be able to be as, as close to practicing engineers by the time they leave and I think this is working. They really like being able to do all this uh, through Moodle the communication back and forth. Um, it's also the fact that we've consulted them a lot in terms of how we do this, how much it should count and so on, has given them more ownership of the module, which they seem to also quite appreciate. John. Thank you very much, Any questions?